What is up guys? Welcome to the channel. My name's Micah and today we're testing the limits of the Suzuki DRZ 400S once again. So we are at Bluff Creek OHV Park and this place is gnarly. I mean there's a little bit of everything here but look at some of these climbs. Like there is just the gnarliest stuff you can imagine. Like some of these we will not attempt but I think most of them we're gonna give them a go and once again we are the only person here in the park there is no one else so we cannot break our motorcycle we cannot hurt ourselves there is no help coming and just to show you I'm sure the camera isn't quite capturing how steep some of these are so we're on the edge of one of them here and that is straight down and those are straight up. I can't wait to see how the DRZ does. So without further ado, let's start ripping. <laughs> all right, all right, check, check, test, test. So we do have some knobby tires. They are the Sedona Hard Terrain. I do just have a eBay no name slip on exhaust. It does say Akrapovich, but it is certainly not an actual Akrapovich. Tail tidy. We do have some aftermarket handlebars. So these are gonna be the Pro Taper Unadilla medium high bars. About an inch higher and maybe an inch and a half wider. A little bit more of a straighter profile, not quite the bend that the stock ones have. We got some Pro Taper grips to complement those, but otherwise, performance wise our bike is totally stock i mean we just have the factory jetting the factory air filter you know we have the slip on exhaust not the full system so this should give you a pretty good idea of what a stock drz is capable of it's a very serene cool atmosphere out here Here's where it gets freaking crazy. Gosh, these are just, oh my goodness. And then there's that long one that curves up at the top. I don't know if I can make it up these. We'll give it hell. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Pretty stinking cool, kids. What is this? Oh, now we get to ride the ridges. Oh, yeah. Nice. An easy grade to get down to get back. Most likely. Please be easy. Okay. Oh. Oh, that's an easy trail down. Oh. These bluffs are so high, the turkey vultures are just right up there cruising around. Wow. All right. Let's test our abilities again. It's not the steepest grade in the world. Well, it's pretty steep. <laughs> it looks like suicide, but we'll try it. Oh, man. just go straight up that why wouldn't we second gear was really throwing us up there that was second gear ah, dust cloud we went up this one and then we turned to the left but it looks like there's a path if you really think you got some cojones you can just go straight freaking up it which looks like absolute suicide. That is so steep if you were to go straight up that. My goodness, there is no way. Okay, we'll try it. Oh my goodness. I just wanted to do it. <laughs> Does this loop around? I think it does. It's not too bad. Woo! Man, 
This place is so cool. Later in the day. Later in the day. Well, okay, we'll jump up here. Why am I doing this? So you can kind of go diagonal up the hill there. Well, that looks very, very challenging and risky. Oh, you're kind of, you're kind of like drifting up that <laughs> when you go up it. Gosh, and then there's so many lines to take across our little, little island bridge thing. Woo! On this one has several different lines you could cut up it. Wow! Ride the ridge! Woo! <laughs> oh, that's so fun. Yeah. Yeah, baby. All right, that's the line we want, I guess. We'll spin it around. Oh, and it's a dust storm, so we gotta get out of that quick. Oh my gosh, and it gets steep! Oh, but you gotta, you gotta come over the top nice and easy. Oh. Gosh, we're just blazing our own trail. Like, and now, <laughs> so where did these go? Oh, jeez. And there's monster climbs back here. This is uh, insanely steep. <laughs> Did not know this was back there. Oh my gosh, okay. Brakes are both locked up and we're sliding. That's how steep this is. Oh man. But you guys, oh gosh, okay. We almost wiped out right there. Wow. Look at these gnarly suckers, my goodness. There's kind of a long sweeper that just, well, I wanna go down that one before we go up it. And then it looks like if you feel technical, you could go through the center there. So it looks like it's a first gear hill, which I'd much rather be in second for steep stuff like that, but. Oh, barely. Oh, man. That, that was a barely. <laughs> That's what we call a barely hill. And barely hills aren't super fun. Okay, wow. And then this one has a big tree root right here that you have to navigate. Wow, that's quite the kicker. Oh man, this is, oh, oh, I don't know about that. That tree root thing makes me uneasy. This is why we came out here. Gotta get to the left. Ah, oh, barely avoided it. Oh man. all about kids terrain like this is what I absolutely love Whew, we made it back to home base and yeah I'm having a beer and smoking a cigarillo because it's actually my birthday thanks everybody for the birthday wishes hi mom hi Eldon but back in that area with the silty sandy climbs you know it's just super fun that water's so blue and then the the terrain back in there you know it's like tan and white and black and so you just and then the green trees and everything so you get just tons of color it is just so cool out here but the drz is doing absolutely awesome you know it's a 400 cc dual sport motorcycle with a steel frame it's heavier than obviously your mx bikes you know i have our suspension settings all set at about the stiffest they can be for this drz so it soaks up all those whoops all those jumps you know when i really come into a hill climb hard uh, that initial compression of the suspension 
Uh, you know, the bike does really well with the suspension just a little bit firmer. I've always just kind of liked more of a rigid suspension setting, you know, whether it's for dirt bikes or for street bikes. So I suppose we'll weasel back in there into those bluffs and trails. You know, we'll take some of the wooded trails and see what that has to offer. So I suppose we'll gear back up and go hit it again. Round two. Sending it the full way. Why? But I mean, we'll still have some fun. Woo! I mean, not that those are huge jumps or anything, but on a DRZ 400, they're decent. <laughs> probably could just pin that one and be able to catch the landing no problem uh, we'll just save ourselves for the for the climbs whoa Yum. and here's our exit awesome and that blue blue water Uh, we'll do that subtle sweeper again. I'll rock the left side. Over to the right side. And still going up. Woo! <laughs> that is fun. I tell you what. Whoa. Now we're getting confident. Now we're going a little bit faster through all these. <laughs> now that we kind of know the area, we kind of know the, the terrain. <laughs> oh yeah, we'll get down in here. Go over here. Oh, that's our little steep one that surprised us that one time. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Brakes totally locked up, just sliding down there. Our little island path. The bridge is the cricks. Let's take the high road. All right. Up the kicker. Oh yeah, we took this one before just looking down it it wasn't wasn't as familiar oh and then a ledge right there on the back side I know our bike will go down it so I don't have to go as slow as I did okay both brakes are totally locked up and we're just sliding that is how steep that is oh it's so beautiful back in here too just some easy dirt trails, you know, just to put around on, explore and enjoy. All right, we'll try this guy again. Please, please, please be okay. Oh yeah, baby. Ride the ridges, look at this view. We're just riding these ridges. There's our little creek. Oh, we'll take this little shoot here. Man, this is so much fun. Are people allowed to have this much fun? Oh my gosh. I can't believe we went up that. I cannot believe that I took that. What was I thinking? Who knows? Oh, that 
one second. So you kind of got to balance left, right, left, right. And of course this stuff is so soft that your rear tire is just zero traction blowing off the entire time. I don't feel great about it. It's just, uh, but we don't know until we know. Okay, not too bad. Here's a nice easier, well I say easier, it's still pretty steep, but I think this goes down around, yes, to those other trails that we were at, yeah, those, those big climbs. Let me look closer at this one that kind of weasels in the valley. Oh man, I just don't. Cause I gotta zip up this one and then I'll come down that one that goes through the valley, through the crevasse. But on that seat, that's the tough thing about these hill climbs is that you, your butt just has to be planted on that seat. Oh, see, yeah, there's just not. Oh man. That gets gnarlier than gnarly. Oh my goodness. So you gotta, uh, <laughs> that's insane. Well, we'll go down it, but I, I seriously, there is no way we could go up this. <sighs> oh my goodness. Oh, and there's a nice branch that would hit us in the face right at the key time so oh man that is just so gnarly ah. oh this is just gnarlier than gnarly that would not uh, that would not be smart like the others were not smart and I still did them we still got up them so maybe I just need to think less yeah maybe I need to think less ride more that sounds smart oh my gosh wow all right so that just takes rigorous clutch work you can't just be in gear and be hammering it there is slower technical parts that you need to feather the clutch in we'll try it again try and hold better speed and get my corners a little bit better oh man i oh she pawed up it tires spinning she clawed up it. I do not believe that. This bike is, uh, well, surprising me today, to say the least. Not bad, pretty fun. Nuts. That is nutty. You're just like looking straight down when you go down that one. It's pretty steep. <laughs> what do we got there? Whoa. Don't worry, Mom. I know what I'm doing. That is a good view right there. We'll try. Oh, that was one of the vertical ones that I was scared to do. 
it is pretty much near vertical at the top I'll give you another look at that because you see where it's going up and then I don't know if you can see those ridges I'll do it once more like right there Wow oh man it is so fun out here come out to bluff creek this place is super cool you know there was definitely a few climbs that we took that i didn't know if we would make it up on the drz and it just powered right up um, so this motorcycle has beyond impressed me you know it's heavier than other bikes it uses old technology it's carbureted the steel frame it has a five-speed transmission but it's just been so reliable and dependable for us as far as bang for buck dual sports I think this is your best bang for buck, you know, for around the $7,000 price point. Gosh, this is just a super capable machine. And I think for 90 plus percent of riders, this DRZ400 is gonna take you to your limit. I just think the majority of riders are never going to be able to take this machine to its limit. I still haven't taken this machine to its limit. I have not found something that this DRZ cannot do. It's a motorcycle you could start on. It's a motorcycle you could finish on. So like the video if this helped you out. Subscribe if you guys wanna see more. And until next time, have a wonderful night, guys.